everybody, this is Michi407 with another video, and today I have my 2019 Ross Chastain Kansas Race version diecast that has arrived in the mail after a few months of anticipation. I'd say this is probably one of the most hyped up diecasts of the year, um, just considering it's a Ross Chastain, and as of last year, he only had, uh, well, technically three cars of his made, his 2016, uh, uh, South Carolina, no, not South Carolina, the, uh, the mascot one, I forgot which mascot that is, um, and then he had his, obviously his Las Vegas win made, and then the promo watermelon car, so, oh my gosh, I got scared, I thought I got a gateway car for a second, um, well, there's a cool, cool, uh, hero card of his, of gateway, that is autographed as well, here we go. It says, Ross Chastain, Paul Jr. Design, slash True North, Kansas Win, Standard Finish. Here, let's get a better look at that cool hero card that we got. And it is physically autographed. It's not like a fake autograph, like a printed on one. That is nice that they included that. Pretty cool. Um, it has his facts, his birth dates from Elva, Florida. And, yeah, it's a nice little touch to throw in. All right, so let's move on to the die cast. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this one for so long. Well, not really that long, but it felt like it. And here it is, the 2019 Ross Chastain Kansas Race Winner die cast. Now let's get this thing out. See, is this a Lionel autograph? No. All right, so this is the normal one, but autographed by Ross Chastain. And oh my gosh, that signature looks amazing. Wow. This is my first ever paint pen autograph too. Now that is cool. So we have uh, our winner sticker, of course, and then build your virtual garage, which Lionel really needs to update. And then here's the hero card. So Ross Chastain, ALI 250 winner. And Chastain captures first truck win at Kansas. Man, I did not think that they were going to do a paint pen autograph. That's just, that looks awesome on there. I thought they were going to do the black one because I've seen that with Lionel. But I don't, obviously Lionel doesn't do uh, paint pen autographs, but wow. And this truck is a lot dirtier than I thought it would be. Um, it almost, I don't want to say it looks too dirty, but it kind of does. But it, it still, it just looks absolutely amazing. So um, let's get this thing off of the base. It is uh, obviously screwed down to this. And um, yeah, so far, first impressions of this thing, it just looks absolutely amazing. Now, I ended up buying this diecast off of Nice Motorsports' website, their uh, shop which I believe they are still in stock. If you want to get the paint pen autographed one, um, select the uh, race version die cast, and then who you want it to be signed by. You can do Ross Chastain, Al Nice. You can do, um, and Chastain's crew chief. What's his name? I forget for Nice. Um, but you can get all of those autographs um, on the die cast if you really wanted them. But I just felt like getting the Chastain because I felt like, you know, I'm not a big person in getting like, other autographs, like Al Nice would have kind of been cool, but I didn't want his crew chief, no offense. Um, but, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I, like I said, I just ordered the driver autographed one. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So, off the stand really nicely. Um, there it is. Wow. So, let's get into the paint scheme now. And then I'll go over, like, kind of race markings and damage. So, on the hood, we have Paul Jr. Designs. And the True North logo. And then his beautiful autograph in green paint pen. And then on the top, you barely have it, but 45. And then the back of the truck, the bed, we have True, True North, Paul Jr. Designs. And then True North again. And then Xpel. And then the Chevy logo. And I cannot identify what is right there. As you guys can see, there is some sort of sponsor, but I'm not quite sure which one it is. 
on the back of the die cast, we have True North Silverado, and you can see on the back also the Chevrolet. Of course, it's not textured, but on the real trucks, it is textured, um, so that's why they added that. And then 45. Let's go to this side of the truck. We have 45 True North. Actually, is this the True North logo? I think it is, right? I'm not sure. That might be Paul Jr. Designs, actually. Um, yeah, I'm not sure uh, what logo exactly that is. It might, Yeah, I think it is Paul Jr. Designs, actually. Um, and then True North, 45. Gander Outdoor, Truck Series, NASCAR Race Truck, Mechanics Square, Lincoln Welders, all the wrestling contingencies. And then Shark, something Shark, Pub and Grill, um, Holiday Inn Express and Suites, Mobile One. And then let's go to the other side. We have True North, Paul Jr. Designs, this logo. Yeah, I I seriously do not know what that is. Um, 45 and contingencies once again. So now let's go over race markings on this thing. And boy, oh boy, does this thing have a lot. Of course, trucks don't have opening uh, hoods, but that doesn't really bother me. Uh, so you, you can see all the confetti here. All of that confetti. Uh, this is probably the most confetti-bombed car of the year. And, of course, all of this dirt buildup. And I'm not quite sure what this is. It almost looks like a mini fire. Because, like, it's yellow. But it might just be a bunch of dirt. I, Like I said, I don't know what that is exactly. Um, all of this dirt. It almost looks like a car from, like, Days of Thunder with all of this dirt. It looks, it looks so good. Um... Then we got, of course, the burn marks on the vinyls because of the exhaust. And then right here, this corner was uh, pushed in a little bit, like it was caved in. The bumper was cracked and separated from the quarter panel. Um, obviously, that's not exactly what it looks like, but did an all right job trying to fix that, or make it look like it at least. Uh, front end of the truck, got a lot of dirt here. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then this side, dirt. No real, no real race markings. Um, mostly just dirt and grime and rubber. And of course these tires, all of them have pretty much all the Goodyear left on them. Which I really like the touch, the yellow uh, lug nuts and then the pink lug nuts in the back. That is pretty cool. You see there the pink and then yellow. Along with the brake dust that is in the uh, center of the rims. And I feel like we just have to get one more look at that signature because it's just absolutely beautiful. Let's get a close-up of it. Boy, oh boy. That is one nice signature. So shout out to Nice Motorsports for this wonderful die cast. Um, it's just... It's an absolutely amazing die cast. I recommend adding this one to your collection as soon as possible. As you can see, the watermelon trucks, if you look at eBay, those things are already going for almost double the price of pre-order. So if I were you, I would try to get your hands on this one fast, as it will probably go. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Watch my Chase Elliott Watkins Glen review. That will be posted after this die cast. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be 2407. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Bye.